This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Today's computer systems are used for communication. Uh, just as much as, as any other purpose for the computer. And in order to communicate, we need to be connected to a network. So we want to just define what a network is and some of the basics of network communication. Uh, first of all, a computer network exists solely for the purpose of sharing information between systems. We connect computers together so we can share stuff, is what I like to say. That stuff is documents, photos, music, videos, printers, an internet connection, all those things can be shared, but all of them would require a computer network. Okay, the information that's shared can include that as well as uh, a number of other things. Computer networks exist not only in businesses, uh, businesses of any size technically, but also in a large number of home environments and it's for that exact purpose. Now fundamentally there are three different things that I'm going to require in order to connect to the network. The first will be a network connection. Now, a network connection could be a cable connection. Uh, we would call it an Ethernet cable, just a network cable that plugs into the back of your computer and maybe comes from a cable or DSL modem. Uh, it could also be a phone line connection for dial-up. But it could also be wireless and that's becoming much more prevalent these days and so if you have a computer that's communicating over the internet but has no wires connected to it then it's wireless. How does that work? Well, it's just using radio frequencies to communicate with something known as a wireless router or a wireless access point. But you still need that actual physical connection. And that physical connection is going to come through what's known as a network interface card or a NIC. Uh, a NIC or a modem. Now the modem is used when we're connecting via a phone line and the NIC is used when we're connecting uh, to a, a network. You know, and again, you would still call it a NIC even if it's wireless. It's just called a wireless network interface card. Then we do need a protocol. Protocol, the best analogy is it's a language for communication. Uh, you know, it's, it's technically the rules that define communication. There's a whole lot that goes into a protocol. But if we think about it like languages, that makes sense. Because in order for you to understand what I'm saying, I have to be speaking in a language that you understand. Now, I could speak five languages and you could speak three. As long as we have one in common and we speak that language, then we'll be able to communicate. And that's really how protocols work on a computer network. You can have more than one protocol, but when you and I talk, we need to be using a protocol that is common to both of us. So those are the three things, an actual connection, a network interface, and a protocol. There's two broad categories for networks. Uh, local area network and wide area network. Now typically we're dealing with LANs. LANs are networks that exist in a single physical location and that's the most common one. Even in businesses that's the most common but certainly in home networks it's always a local area network and we probably don't even use the term. Uh, but technically when you or I use the term network we're talking about a LAN. Whereas a wide area network is a uh, almost solely business style network that links multiple physical locations together. And it does so using public connections. The internet is essentially the largest WAN in the world because that's what the internet is, is a network of networks connecting uh, a bunch of different computer networks together for what? for the purpose of sharing information. So that's the whole idea behind computer networking. Connect machines together to share stuff, to share resources, connections, data, and the like. I need an interface, a connection, and a protocol to be able to communicate uh, on the internet and to be able to communicate with other computers in my own physical location. So this is the basics of networking and really without networks the computers wouldn't be nearly as useful as they are.